Hey everyone! Today's topic is all about planning a group vacation, always fun but sometimes a bit of a challenge, right? Our conversation features two friends, Matt and Jamie. Matt's trying to organize a trip with a group of friends, but he's already feeling the tug of war between different ideas. Jamie's got some experience navigating group trips and is here to share his tips and tricks. Plus, we'd love to hear from you. What's your go-to way of planning group trips? Drop your thoughts in the comments. So Jamie, we're trying to plan this group vacation, but honestly, it feels like everyone wants something different. Ever dealt with that? Oh yeah, group trips always have that issue. You've got the let's relax by the pool crowd and the let's go see every museum folks. Balancing it can be tough, especially when everyone has their own idea of a good time. Exactly. Some people just want to chill, while others want to be out all day sightseeing. Any tips on finding that middle ground? One thing that works well is planning one main activity each day that everyone can join in if they want. It's a bit of structure, but without the all-day itinerary of vibe. People can join or do their own thing, and in the evening, everyone can regroup and share what they did. It keeps things light, but also gives everyone a chance to enjoy their day how they want. That actually makes a lot of sense. So it's like, you do you, but let's all hang out later. It seems chill enough that people won't feel pressured to follow a set plan. Exactly. It keeps the day flexible, but you'll still have that shared experience in the evenings. And hey, you can even make one big group event, like a fancy dinner or a fun excursion, but day-to-day -day stuff? People can do their own thing. Love that idea. Now, what about packing? Should we coordinate so we don't end up with, like, five bottles of sunscreen and zero chargers? Yes, totally. You know what's handy? A shared list on your phones. Everyone can add the essentials they're bringing, mark off stuff that's covered, and just coordinate from there. It's surprisingly helpful, especially for random things like bug spray or even phone adapters if you're going international. Ah, the little things that save the day. But the budget's another big one. How do you keep it affordable without making it awkward? Money's always tricky on group trips. Setting an estimated budget per day can help, people are more likely to join in if they know it's all within a set price range. That way, you can still do some cool stuff without surprising anyone with costs. Yeah, setting a general spending idea sounds fair. And for meals, do you think we should Venmo as we go or settle it all at the end? If you're just covering a couple of expenses, maybe you can wait, but for daily stuff, Venmo is your friend. Everyone's on their phone anyway, so it's easy. Plus, that way, no one's keeping tabs on who owes what, and you avoid those last-day awkward conversations. Good point. Plus, it saves time. Now, do you think it's better to plan everything out? Or just go with the flow? I'd say keep it loose. You don't want a set schedule unless you're planning something that needs tickets or a reservation. Vacation should feel like a break, not work you know. I think a rough idea is good, but give yourself some breathing room. Right. Having every minute scheduled would make it feel more like a field trip. What about those times when people can't agree on what to eat or do? It's bound to happen. And it's fine to split up now and then. For example, 
Maybe half the group wants pizza, and the other half wants sushi. Just go your separate ways for a meal, then meet up after. No stress. It's about making the trip enjoyable for everyone. I guess, splitting up now, and then keeps everyone happier. So let's talk sleeping arrangements. Should we assign spots, or just let everyone pick when we get there? Letting everyone pick is usually easier, especially if people arrive at different times. It's more relaxed. But if there's a main spot, like a room with the best view, maybe consider rotating if it's a longer trip. That way, no one feels left out. Fair enough. I'll just let everyone find their space, unless there's a reason to switch it up. Now, what about stuff like snacks or drinks? Is it worth picking up some basics? Absolutely. Getting some basics like water, soda, and snacks is smart, especially when you first arrive. You don't want to be stuck without essentials, plus, it makes it feel a bit more like home. You can even do a quick grocery run when you get there and split the cost. Nice. Snacks are definitely a must. And for emergencies, like missed flights or bad weather, is there a backup plan we should consider? Having a backup is smart, even if it's just a list of indoor spots to check out if it rains. And for travel delays, it helps if everyone has the main itinerary on their phone so they know where to go if they miss a meetup. Love it. It's those little things that make the trip less stressful. And just one last thing, how do we keep the vibe fun, even if we're together the whole time? It's all about the mood. Maybe bring some games for downtime, like cards or something light-hearted. Sometimes, when you're just chilling at the hotel, a bit of laughter goes a long way. And remember, trips aren't perfect, stuff happens. Just roll with it and make it part of the story. You're right. It's those imperfect moments that make for the best memories. Thanks, man. This makes planning feel way more doable. Thanks for all the advice, Jamie. This makes planning so much easier. I feel way more prepared to handle the group dynamics, and now I've got ideas to keep it flexible and fun for everyone. Anytime, man. Group trips can be a blast if you just roll with the flow and keep everyone's vibes in mind. Remember, it's not about making everything perfect, it's about making memories together, even if things don't go as planned. That's true. Now, I'm actually looking forward to the little mishaps, as much as the big plans. Exactly. And hey, if you need a last-minute checklist, just let me know. Good luck, and have a great time. And to everyone watching, what's your best tip for planning a group trip? Do you go with a schedule, or do you just wing it? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you found this helpful.